In this video, we'll talk about what is downcasting and upcasting. Now, before this, we have to understand what is typecasting. So let's say we have a double value. So let's say double D is equal to, let's say 4.5. And then, of course, I can print this value. I can say D and we all know what will be the output. It will print 4.5. But what if I want to save this value somewhere? Okay, so example, if I say int is i equal to d, can we do that? Can we have the double value inside integer? Of course, it will not support, right? Because 4.5 cannot be stored in integer. So yes, we can at least store 4 here, right? So maybe we can remove 5.5, we can at least store 4. But how will we do that? By default, Java will not allow you that because Java says a uh, type mismatch cannot convert from double to int. It's because it says, you know, uh, you might lose data and we can say, hey, that's okay for me. I'm okay to lose data. So what you can do is you can typecast it. So you can say, hey, I don't care what value you send, just send that in the integer format. I'm okay with it. Okay, so this is typecasting. You are converting the type of a value, right? Now by doing this, if I try to print i, let's see what happens. Of course, we are storing that integer, we will lose data. So we are losing 0.5, but that's okay. We at least we got four. Now this is called typecasting. Now coming back to the world of oops, can we do this in oops? So let's try. And we have talked about inheritance. We have talked about uh, how can we have methods and two different classes? How can we override those stuff? Now, just to keep it simple, what I will do is I will create a class here and we'll name this class as let's say A. Again, I'm just trying to keep things as simple as possible. We could have gone with other, like, other names as well, like calculator or something. But just to keep it simple, let's say we have these two classes, class A and class B, and class B extends A. So we are basically trying to achieve inheritance here. And now with this, what we can do is we can create object of A. Of course, we can do that, right? We can create object of A and that perfectly works. Now in these two classes, I want to have some methods. Let's say in A, I have a method which is show, or maybe I will say show one. And in B, I can have a method which is public void show two, right? And then I will just print something here. So I can print in a show. And now you know what I would say here. See, we can write any complex logic, right? Right. But the idea here is to understand the concepts. That's what you're focusing. So in B show. Now what I want to do is uh, using this A object. So if you can see, we are creating this OBJ of type A and also the object is also of A, right? And now with the help of this OBJ, and you can see I'm not trying to achieve method overriding here. There are two different methods, show one, show two, two different methods. And I can call show one. And you can see I can only call show one. I can't call show two. What's the reason I can't call show two? It's, it's very simple. We don't have show two inside A. And A don't even know B exists. Okay, that's a fact. B knows what A is, but A has no idea what B is. I hope that is not the scene in real world. Your parents knows you. So uh, I let, let's try this. Compile and run, you can see it says in a show. But now my question to you is, can I have the reference of A an object of B? And then we have seen that it is possible. I can actually create this. I can have a reference of A an object of B. We have done that in dynamic method dispatch. We can basically do this, right? Now what we are trying to do here is we have an object of class, subclass, and then we are trying to assign that to a parent class. Now we can actually say, hey, you know what you can do? Please typecast it. So whatever object you're sending is of child class, but typecast it with A, which is a parent class. The same thing we have done for the integer and double, right? Now, when you are doing this, we are basically going up, right? Which is, if, it, if you try to compare this A and B, A is a, sub, a is a superclass, B is a subclass. So we are trying to say refer, I mean, object is of B, but refer to A. So we are going up, which is upcasting. So this concept here is called upcasting. And of course this will work, there will there is no issue. You can still call in a show because in B as well, we got the same method. Even if you have the object of B, it will still work. Okay, so this is called upcasting. So even this is not compulsory, it is something which is which happens implicitly behind the scene. So you don't have, even have to mention the casting part. It normally works. So this is upcasting. Now, what is downcasting? So let's say I'm creating a reference of B. Now, why we have to go for downcasting first of all? See, using this, even if the object is of B, using this OBJ, I can't call show two. 
If you can see the object is of B and the method show to belongs to B but still you can't call it. Reason is because the reference is of A and A has no idea what is this show to. Okay, so to solve that problem what we can do is we can create a new reference let's say obj1 but then I want to use the same object. I don't want to get a new object. Of course you can do this but you're getting a new object. Can we do this? Can we say obj1 is equal to obj? Now the problem is even obj is referring to a new b object but the problem is it is referred to a. It's the type of obj is a. So it's the same problem of uh, double and int, right? Similar. So what we can do is we can do a type casting here. We can say, hey, I know this is reference of a, but the object is of b, right? So whenever you assign, I want the type to be of b. And that's how it works. This is called down casting. So this obj is the parent object or parent reference. You are down casting it to the child reference. Now using this new obj1, I can call show2. Okay, so this is downcasting. This is downcasting, this is upcasting. In general, they are called typecasting, okay? Uh, so you don't have to actually remember these terms every time, upcasting, downcasting. At, at, after some time, you actually you get used to this concept. You will implicitly use those things anywhere you want. But yes, while teaching, we have to use some words. So upcasting, downcasting. So yeah, that's about this concept. But remember this, we can create a parent reference and child object and we can also come back to the child reference here.